Hello again. Pace fishing is becoming more and more popular and pace themselves are becoming more and more sophisticated. But it is a method that for many people is a bit of a mystery method. I've come here today to catch up with my old pal Andy Finlay. It'll come as no shock to you to uh, discover that he's catching. To talk about pace fishing, the kit you need. And how to get the best out of the method. That's a nice little fish, Andy. Yeah, a bit small, but uh, first cast can't complain. No, it's been a cold morning. There was a frost last night. Yeah, it's not exactly pace weather, but I'm confident here that we're going to catch, you know, quite a few fish here today. Yeah. What, what what is it that frightens people about the method? Is it is it just going into the unknown? Or, 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 yeah. Is there any mystery about it? It's perhaps, you know, with them fishing it on the pole because you get lots of liners in pace fishing and some a lot of lads think that the bites when not really, you know, they're just they're just liners and they, they wonder why they're missing bites, but they're not bites from the start, if you know what I mean. Mm. Um, but, you know, there's nothing complicated about pace fishing. It's just mixing it right and getting your feeding right. Um, today here I'm fishing, I'm fishing the feeder, which is a different, totally different uh, way of fishing to the, fishing the pole with pace. Uh, it's, it's on a new pace that we've been developing called fibre paste. It's dead easy, you don't need any uh, hair rigs or anything, just a size 10 PR36 hook. That's a Preston's Innovations hook. It is, yeah. Uh, just, there's no really need to go down on size and that, you know, 10, 12 with the fishery, you know, limits the size, uh, size 12 hook. But as you can see there, I've just pulled it a bit off the paste. It's quite stringy in texture, so that means that just by hooking it on, it will stay on on the cast. Uh, you know, there's no need for, for hair rigs or anything like that. Just make sure that when you pull it off, it's light and fluffy like that is there. And don't try and go moulding it into balls. Just make sure it's all light and fluffy on the edges and just get all the hook in behind the, the paste there and just turn the hook round so that the, the point comes out there. You see that just catching yeah, yeah, my thumb. Yeah. And that's a really light, fluffy bait that's going to break down when it's in the water, that. So, you know, the fish are going to take that. There's no hardness in the bait, where, as before, paste fishing on the rod, you, you, you had to squeeze your paste on quite yeah. hard yeah. round a boilie or a, 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 a stop, you know, for it to stand on, on the, stand the cast, the force of the cast. But this type of paste, because it's light stringy and got very fibrous, it will stay on, you know, it will, that'll help it to 